Adventure of the Little Explorer Once upon a time, there lived a curious and brave little explorer named Jack. Jack was different from the other children in his village. He loved to explore and see new places. One day, Jack decided to venture into the depths of the forest near his village. Without a map, he had to rely on only his instincts and curiosity. As he journeyed through the forest, he saw colorful birds and interesting plants. With each step, his eyes sparkled with excitement. As he delved deeper into the forest, he stumbled upon a river. Along the river bank were a plethora of wild flowers and vibrant butterflies. Jack continued to walk along the river, and soon he came across a waterfall. Water cascaded down from high rocks, spraying into the sky in large droplets. Jack sat beneath the waterfall and marveled at the beauty before him. The Boy Who Cried Wolf Once upon a time, in a picturesque village nestled amidst rolling hills and lush greenery, there lived a mischievous young boy named Peter. Peter was known far and wide for his adventurous spirit and playful nature, but he had a tendency to bend the truth for his own amusement. Peter's father was a shepherd, and every day, he entrusted Peter with the task of watching over their flock of sheep as they grazed on the sun-kissed meadows surrounding the village. However, Peter often found this duty dull and monotonous, yearning for excitement and adventure. One sunny afternoon, as Peter sat beneath the shade of an old oak tree, his mind began to wander. An idea struck him like a bolt of lightning, a mischievous plan to liven up his mundane routine and entertain himself at the expense of the villagers. With a mischievous glint in his eye and a devilish grin on his face, Peter leaped to his feet and cried out at the top of his lungs, Wolf! Wolf! A ferocious wolf is attacking the sheep! Hearing the urgency in Peter's voice, the villagers sprang into action. Men grabbed their pitchforks, women seized their brooms, and children clutched whatever makeshift weapons they could find as they rushed to the pasture to fend off the imagined threat. But when they arrived at the scene, they found no sign of a wolf, only Peter, doubled over with laughter, tears streaming down his cheeks. There is no wolf, you fools. Peter chortled gleefully. I tricked you. It was all just a joke. The villagers, though relieved that there was no real danger, were none too pleased with Peter's deceit. They scolded him sternly for causing unnecessary panic and wasting their time, but ultimately, they forgave him, chalking it up to the antics of a mischievous boy. However, Peter's thirst for attention and amusement was not easily quenched. The very next day, he repeated his prank, once again crying out for help with false alarm of a wolf attack. And once again, the villagers rushed to his aid, only to be met with Peter's raucous laughter and the absence of any actual danger. This pattern continued for several days, was Peter gleefully deceiving the villagers time and time again, each instance eroding a little more of the trust and goodwill they had once held for him. But then, one fateful evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the shadows lengthened across the meadows, a chilling howl pierced the tranquil air, the unmistakable cry of a real wolf hungry and prowling in search of prey. This time, when Peter cried out for help, his voice trembled with genuine fear and desperation. But the villagers, weary of his deceitful antics, refused to heed his cries, believing it to be yet another ploy to garner attention. Trapped in a nightmare of his own making, Peter watched in horror as a wolf descended upon the unsuspecting flock. 
its gleaming eyes fixed hungrily on the defenseless sheep. He realized too late the consequences of his lies, the trust he had shattered, the danger he had invited, and the price he would now pay. As the dust settled and the villagers surveyed the devastation wrought by the wolf's attack, they cast accusing glances at Peter, whose face was pale and stricken with guilt. His heart weighed heavy with remorse as he realized the gravity of his actions and the irreversible damage he had caused. From that day forth, Peter learned a valuable lesson about the importance of honesty and integrity, and he vowed to never again deceive others for his own amusement. And though the wounds of betrayal ran deep, the villagers, in their wisdom and compassion, offered Peter a second chance to redeem himself and earn back their trust through genuine repentance and virtuous deeds. And so, amidst the verdant hills and golden meadows of their village, Peter embarked on a journey of self-discovery and redemption, guided by the timeless values of truth, trust, and the enduring power of forgiveness.